These next few days are going to be a bitter cold, which means we need to take extra care of ourselves and our furry friends. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker spoke to an emergency room doctor about just how dangerous this weather can be. She's in the newsroom live and she's telling us what we need to know. Hey, Catherine. When the temperatures are in the single digits or even sub zero, it doesn't take long for you to get frostbite if you aren't properly covered up. If you have to venture outside during the extremely cold weather, you need to make sure you're prepared to withstand the cold and wind. Dr. Hugh Jackson is the medical director of Mercy's Emergency Department in Rogers. He says in the proper setting, it can take just 20 or 30 minutes for frostbite to set in and it can advance quickly. Symptoms of frostbite are red, pale skin, feeling of numbness, muscle stiffness, stiffness, and in severe cases, blistering. Because of this, if you go outside, Dr. Jackson says to dress in layers that protect your body from moisture and wind. If you have at least a couple layers beneath a wind resistant uh, coated type of, of article of clothing, then you're better off because you want layers to retain the heat, avoid mo moisture loss, but also to avoid exposure to the wind, which will, which will create a lot more damage for folks. Animal experts say you cannot stay outside in the cold temperatures we're expecting. If you're cold, then they are cold too. If they have to go outside, they should only be out there for 15 to 20 minutes, but you should keep an eye on them the whole time to make sure they're okay. Katherine Gilker, 5 News. And if you do notice an animal that is left outside and not being cared for, you are asked to call your local animal services or police non-emergency number.